welcome to my July Let's Chat video. This is where we can just chill and hang out and catch up on some things that are going on in my life and then you guys can fill me in in the comments and we have this symbiotic situation happening. Yes. Um, all right, so there's usually a format to Let's Chat, the videos. Um, gonna switch things up a little bit today because I'm super, super excited to kind of tell you guys about something, hold myself accountable to something. You get me? Um, so we're gonna do the rapid fire first and I'm gonna start with telling you guys about something new that I'm trying and that is intermittent fasting. And before you're like, oh, here she goes talking about her weight loss journey. This is not about weight loss for me. If you can't tell, I am sick again. This is my second cold in as many months it's just a hot mess express over here and I have had enough. <laughs> so I decided that I needed to kind of like to listen to my own body. So I started tuning in a little bit and knowing a little bit about my family history, knowing a little bit about my own personal health history, I started to put together some dots. So diabetes runs through my father's side of the family. Um, I've been tested for diabetes many, many, many times and it's always come back like normal. So I decided to, well, at first I was like, well, maybe it's a gluten thing. So I was like, no more gluten. Nothing happened. I didn't feel any better. I certainly didn't feel any worse, but I didn't feel any better either. And that's whenever I came across intermittent fasting. And I started to think about how, when you consume food, your blood sugar spikes, right? Because your body is like trying to produce the insulin to control what you're putting in your body. Then your body sort of needs a break from that. and. I wasn't really giving myself much of a break at all because I was like very much into snacking. Like I had convinced myself, oh, I'm eating all these small meals throughout the day, look at me go. But I think for me and for my body, I really need space. I know myself and I know that I need to hold myself accountable. So I was able to find this really, really cool app called Do Fasting. And basically it just is like a personal assistant when it comes to your fasting. You answer a few questions in the beginning and they kind of like ease you into it a little bit. There are many ways to do fasting. Some of them are like day long fasts, that ain't for me. But a lot of them are just like throughout the day. So you'll eat for 10 hours and then fast for 14 or you'll eat for eight hours and fast for 16. It's very, very, doable and manageable and not nearly as like, oh my God, I'm starving. Not nearly as much like that as you would think. And the Do Fasting app really, really helps kind of take all the guesswork out of that. You put in the time you want to start eating, you put in the time you want to stop eating and it sends you reminders. Okay, your eating window just started, you know, go ahead and get on it. It also has so many other things in the app that are super helpful, but it has um, tips that you read, tip, like little articles that you read every single day. It has like 500 recipes. It has free workouts that you can do at home without any weights, just using your body weight. So it really is something where you can, you know, invest everything into this one app and it's going to give you food. It's going to give you nutrition. It's going to give you exercise and it's going to kind of help you navigate intermittent fasting. I'm on a 8 16 schedule and you guys I promise you I'm not hungry like I don't find myself starving at all I don't go to bed hungry um, I am losing weight I don't want to harp too too much on that because that's not what this is about for me but if that is what it's about for you just know <laughs> that that is also happening so I'm feeling really good about my fasting journey um and I reached out to do fasting and they wanted to give you guys a coupon code first of all all of their plans three six three months six month 12 month plans are already discounted 75% off right now but you can get an additional 10% off with my code Lindsay10 Lindsay10 so if this is something that you want to check out, something that you're interested in, I highly recommend the Do Fasting app. It just really takes, like I said, all the guesswork out of it and has so many amazing extra little perks and things that can kind of give you a complete wellness package rather than just one thing here and then having to go for something else somewhere else, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so that is something new I'm trying. So excited about it. I hope you guys will root me on. I'll be sure to keep you posted on how it's going. 
Um, but the next thing in the in the rapid fire is what I'm obsessed with, and I mean it has to be the Olympics, right? I am such a super fan, love the Olympics so much. I just love everything. I just love everything about the Olympics. I mean, yes, Team USA, you know, but I also really, really, really love like the countries that show up with like one or two athletes, you know, they don't have the money for the programs like we do. They don't have the government backing them up. Sometimes their government is in complete shambles and just the passion of their sport, their love of their country, they show up to the Olympics and, you know, do their thing. Like, I want those people to know. I'm rooting for you. I am team you. Also, the the delegation of athletes, um, of refugees, that is just so beautiful. And then, of course, seeing people's, like, lifelong dreams being fulfilled. I mean, I just cannot imagine what it's like for everything you've ever dreamed of coming down to, like, a couple minutes. Like, that I just I would I don't know what I that's why I'm not cut out for <laughs> athletics or competition because it's just like emotionally I don't think I would be able to handle it so I've been loving watching the Olympics it's on all the time like I'm actually kind of stressed out that I'm doing this video right now and not able to watch because they're doing synchronized diving and again like what it's incredible it's incredible I was watching archery the other day like, I can never watch archery but when it's in the Olympics I'll watch like the little thing is like literally the size of a dime and these people are like nailing it every single time. I couldn't believe it. Anyways, actually that was shooting. Archery's um, target is a little bit bigger. The shooting one was like the size of a dime and I'm just like, don't, don't break into her house, right? You're done. Um, okay, what I'm watching. So I have gotten into the vortex of Dateline reruns. <laughs> I just went before the Olympics started that was just what I had on all the time in the background so I have got true crime on the mind I'm looking at all your husbands and all your boyfriends because that's always who does it it's either the husband boyfriend wife girlfriend or the mistress so if you got any of those floating around either you better watch your back these people are like trying to get sneaky with it now too you know, trying to frame people, poisonings. Like, it's not just like, yeah, I went and shot her, you know, or whatever. It's like, they genuinely believe they're going to get away with it. No. Um, Dateline also has some where they cover, like, stories from, like, 30 years ago. The cases went cold, and then they got reinvigorated for, usually because of DNA and the DNA, like, what's been going on. So, that's cool to see cold cases um, uh, get solved and then there's this whole idea of not dna but um using genetics to uh solve crimes so everybody that's been sending their spit off to ancestry dna and all those places like you might get a phone call you got a third cousin whose dna has shown up at a crime scene i can't wait for that phone call like yep i figured i know somebody in my lineage is up to no good no good. And my genealogy that I sent off for, they're going to be calling me anytime now. Hey, you got a relative who was living in this area in these years? Mm -hmm. Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky, I knew it. She's crazy, right? That, that's how I imagine all that going down. And I would be like, I help solve a crime. Even though it's a, technically a family member. Listen, if you commit a crime, I'm not, I'm not going to lie for you. Especially if you're like a third cousin. Um, what else? What, oh, what I'm listening to. Okay, so this is exciting. I'm listening to mm, The Last Letter from Your Lover by Jojo Moyes. That's from memory. Because you guys know I'm a big Taylor Swift fan. Taylor Swift's boyfriend, Joe Alwyn, is in the movie remake of this book. The book is uh, really interesting. It's kind of like oh I don't know there's like a woman who's married to a guy who's like not super nice to her but it's also like back in the day and also in London um so <clears throat> so when women were especially society women you know they were meant to kind of just like keep after the household keep themselves looking good um they didn't have jobs they weren't held in very high regard at all 
So she ends up meeting this journalist, kind of like a um, nomad a little bit, and they start having this affair. Um, then, I don't wanna give too much away, but it starts out with this, but she gets in a car accident and loses her memory. So she does not remember her lover, her, the one she's having the affair with. And the husband knows, I can't tell you too much, but it's really, really good. This, this triangle of like lies and deceit and keeping things secret, but she's figuring things out. And is she going to stay with the husband? Is she going to find the guy? Like what's going to happen? Super, super good. The movie, if you want to skip the book part, <coughs> is out on Netflix right now. I am not watching until I finish the book. And I think that there is like another movie that was released like many, many, many years ago. So I might even watch that movie first <coughs> and then watch the new movie. But the new movie has Joe Alwyn and um, Shailene Woodley and a couple of other actors and actresses that you might know. So reading the book to watch the movie. Um, and then, is that it? Yeah, that's the quick fire. That's the rapid fire. That is um, something I do in every Let's Chat video. And then I always ask you guys to do the rapid fire in the comment section. So it's something new you're trying, something you're obsessed with, something you're watching, and something you're reading. Um, so you wanna answer those in the comments. That would be great. Things going on with the channel. Uh, I got a lot going on. So uh, August 5th and 6th and 7th are the dates of the Raleigh Original Sewing and Quilt Expo. I am teaching five classes throughout the days on the 5th and the 6th. I'm also doing a meet and greet. I'm also doing a little free presentation on, at the expo stage. So you can catch me there if you're gonna be <coughs> at the show. If you're not planning on it and you're gonna be in the area, you can drop in and take one or two classes. It's not one of those things where actually they sell the classes in packages of three, four, something like that. So you could just take a few classes for a few hours. It's not one of those things where you feel like if you don't stay for the whole three days, you're missing out. Um, so if you're within driving distance or you're willing to travel by plane or train, um, I'll have a link in the description box where you can uh, check out the uh, the original sewing and quilt expo. So I've got that going on. That's what all this stuff is. I'm just like getting ahead of the schedule, getting everything prepared. I do not want, because this is not near here. So if I forget something, I don't have it. Um, so getting everything prepared for that. Uh, <clears throat> I have the um, Sew Together 21 patterns are out for a vote as we speak. We're doing knit tops or dresses. Um, what else? We also have our fall, our fall sew along. Um, I've got to get with the hem siders and decide on a garment type and then a garment pattern. And then I've got to, you know, start working on that. Um, I've got a few things behind the scenes that I can't really tell you a lot about yet, but I think you're going to be really excited about them. One in particular has something to do with, remember when I was like, I'm going to make an online course. And then here we are, it's almost August and no, nothing else but an online course. Something surrounding that might be happening. But again, I don't like to tell you guys too soon in case it falls apart, which it, it happens for a myriad of reasons. Um, so I've got all that going on on the channel. Lots and lots of fun stuff for you guys. Um, I think we're pretty much done with the big fours fall releases. Am I right? We've had four in a row, um, four first impression Fridays in a row on big four. So I think we'll circle back around, get back into the indie list again. Um, which I know you guys like as well. Um, so yeah. And then also in Let's Chat, I cover things that I bought and this month I did pretty good. I didn't buy too, too much. I don't actually have any of it, <coughs> any of it here with me, but I did buy fabric, canvas fabric for the Sew Together 21 pattern for July, which was a hat. So I got a couple yards of canvas to make that. It turned out really cute. You guys will see it here shortly. And then I went back and got fabric to make a second version because the way that they have you construct it normally is great and it's fine, albeit a little bit 
complicated. I mean, it is an advanced beginner pattern and I think I have a way to make it just a beginner pattern and it's free. And so I'll be putting together a video um, on that hopefully here uh, in August. Um, so I bought fabric for that. Um, this is part of my fix it or nix it thing that I'm doing on Instagram where I'm having people kind of like weigh in on how I should refashion clothes. So it's actually a really cute cropped jacket that started out as a shift dress and I'm doing these grommets down the side. So I've had to go buy the grommets and install those. That's been fun. What else did I buy? Oh, I did get that Simplicity. Simplicity one was, I can't talk. Simplicity was on sale this past weekend and I did get that knit skort um, from their latest release. That's the only pattern that I got. Do you do, th those of you that either have them that are purchased or have made them before, would you make the shorts? Because this is a skirt all the way around and just shorts hidden underneath. So do you make the shorts out of one fabric and then the skirt out of like a cuter fabric, but both still knit? Do they stick together? I'm worried that they're gonna like cling together. And then I'm worried that like, if I do like a lining fabric for the short, that that will be hot and unbreathable, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so what do you guys do for that? I did get some like, I don't know what they call it. It's almost like Spanx fabric, but what did she, Performance Nylon maybe she called it. I did get some of that from, um, do you guys remember Scrappy Camel? I talked about them a few months ago. They have some performance knits. Maybe I can do something with those. Cause she did send me like black and some normal colors too. A black skirt would be, knit skirt would be really cute. Anyways, so I got that skirt. Um, I wanna try and make that. And that might be everything that I bought. So that's good, you know. Um, and I think that's it. That's gonna cover everything for this month's Let's Chat video. Like I said earlier, do check out Do Fasting. Check the description box for a link. Um, and then don't forget to use my coupon code, Lindsay10 for 10, an additional 10% off the already discounted um, price of their memberships. If you're interested at all in exploring fasting, exploring ways to feel healthier, have more energy, um, then I would, I would highly recommend do fasting. It just makes all of all the numbers and all the guessing and everything else just so much easier. You just, it just tells you what to do. And let's be real. Sometimes we just need to be told what to do, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.